it's time now for some River City Pets. And today we're talking about keeping your pets out of harm's way where it comes to food. And we'd like to welcome Dr. Michelle Sands. She's the owner of Wells Road Vet. So welcome River City Live. And yeah, like that's what we would like to talk about is really food. And when it comes to your pets, what should they be eating? What should they not be eating? All things like that. Because my dog, who <laughs> looks like she might be part Rottweiler, part Lab, part Hound, is also part Billy Goat, which <laughs> means she wants everything, right. everything but her own food. And why do our dogs always seem like they want what we want? Yeah. You know, you're sitting at your dinner table and they see you eating and they want to be by you. It smells good and, you know, their, their dog food is just fine for them. I mean, Perina started the formulation to make dry dog food back in the 40s. We've made it so that it's totally fine to give them just their food without anything else, vitamins, minerals at all. So, and there's lots of studies through different programs of, of science diet or pro plan with Purina. So their dog food's just fine, but yours just smells better. Ah, okay, so that's what it is. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, here's something that I recently discovered. Letting dogs eat bones is bad. I grew up with an English Mastiff. It was like a 260 pound dog and that thing would eat like dinosaur bones, right. but that's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. You know, when I grew up too, my dad would be throwing the rib bones yeah. at the Labrador. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have issues, but no, rib bones, chicken bones, they, they splinter. Uh, you think about something splintering going into the intestinal tract, how it can perforate or open that tract or cause infection through it, or even jam them up, you know, where they can't actually go to the restroom. Mm. So you have the bones that splinter and do that, or you actually have hard bones. If they bite into it, it can crack teeth. And if you expose that pulp, then the teeth have to be removed. There are much better options than bones to help with the teeth as what well. What are some of those options? So you have greeny treats, and these have been reformulated 10 years ago, so they're excellent. They don't cause issues through the intestinal tract. Um, they break the tartar down. There are actually prescription diets that you can use as treats. So keep the weight off your pet, clean the teeth. So I use this treat. Um, Milk Bone has an over-the-counter one right there at Publix in a little red bag that I found works really good. Um, CET is also an excellent brand for keeping oh. your teeth clean. There you go, a lot, lot of options then, mm -hmm. so that's good. What are some toxic foods that we should just totally keep away from our pets? And over the years, people are a little shocked. Um, you know, number one, you hear it all the time, dark chocolate. There is caffeine, big words, methylxanthine, theobromide, what it does to the dog, these dark chocolates, if they eat it, it causes increased heart rate, seizures, um, it can cause tremors, um, even heart attacks, death kind of uh, things, not a good uh, formula there. Any caffeinated thing, your coffee, your teas, same thing, can cause yeah, that hypertension. That. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so, you know, it's cute. They want to drink your coffee because it's got the cream in it, but mm -hmm. not a good thing. Um, people f recently, grapes and raisins, think of a dried grape, much more toxic in a raisin form can cause oh. kidney failure. Oh my so. goodness, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. All yeah. our new health people out there for avocados, California, welcome. Um, there's has person in it that will actually cause congestive lung disease. Wow. So that's, an, that's a new one found out. I've been shocked by that. So, I yep. did not, I thought I, I thought I kind of knew some things. I'd never had heard that about yeah. avocados. And if you're cooking, be careful with your onions. Um, and baby food that has an onion base, if you're trying to, if your cat or dog okay. steals that, um, it can actually cause an anemia. It oxidates the red blood cells and destroys them. Well, there's get, a, what, a what, plethora of things What I'm getting from this is stick to their food and, and don't think you're being cute. Yeah. Safest thing. thing to do. Now, we, we started off by introducing you as being from Wells Road Veterinarian, but you're about to have a name change. We are. We are. We are now becoming Sandy Paws, and through this month, you'll be seeing many different changes outside the clinic. We're out and about at the Mutt March, but still, it's the same clinic. Almost most of the same people have been there 10, 15 years, though we've been around 25. So same great care. All right. Well, Dr. Sands, thanks for coming on. I want to give everybody the contact information for you if they have any sure questions. Thing. So the number is 904-278-0600, or you could go online to wellsroadvet.com. And that, when that Sandy Paws name takes effect, you'll make sure that your current patients know too, but mm -hmm. the information we're giving you will still work for that too. That's a great yes. name, by the way. Thank you. I love it, especially with you being Dr. Sands. <laughs> That's right. Sandy Paws. <laughs> Thank you for, for coming. Will you come back and see us? I would love to. Because we have more to. questions. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to give answers. Okay, good. <laughs> and we'll be right back.